I'm going to go through the procedure on calibrating the sight hawk before you perform a measurement. Anytime you do a distance default or return loss sweep um, in the measure match mode, you want to set up all your parameters of the sight hawk, such as your frequency. And in this case, I'm set from 700 megahertz to 1100 megahertz. If you're doing a distance default, you want to set up your DTF units. So my units are in feet. My stop distance is at 60 feet. I have my cable information selected from the cable list. I've selected LDF 550A. You can either do your calibration at the test port if all of your measurements are going to be from the test port. But if you add a test cable, you can actually uh, simplify your connection, uh, make it easier to those some places are hard to get into. So in this case, if you're using a test cable, you'd want to calibrate to the test port. <clears throat> so you tap on the cal menu and you get the drop box that comes up. And the first thing I want to do is connect my open of the cal combo to my test cable. I would press open. It's going to sweep. I'll get a green circle with a check mark in it. Now I go to my next step, remove the open, and connect the short. I would press short. I get the green circle with the check. And then the last thing I want to do is connect my load. When the load is connected, let it sweep. The correction is turned on here, and you can also see in the bottom right corner where it says COR on. If you leave the load connected, you should get a sweep at negative 40 dB or below, and as you can see, we're all the way down below negative 60 dB, so this is a good calibration. <clears throat> 